Welcome back. The town of Fitzgerald sits in Ben Hill County, down south of Houston County. And if you Google the small town, you're going to see they're known for their wild Burmese chickens running around the streets. As Suzanne Lawler shows us, they are embracing their foul reputation <laughs> and going all in to try and draw tourists to town. There are chickens everywhere and they run down the alleys and people that they feed them. When we get through with our biscuits in the morning, we, we, we uh, throw them out there and they're usually there every morning between 8 and 9 o'clock. It's ticking crazy in this town. And some people think it's the greatest idea in the world. Some people think I've lost my mind. <laughs> well, pardon the pun when we tell you Mayor Jim Puckett wasn't chicken at all when he decided to go big or go home. He hatched an idea to build a giant chicken topiary in town so it will have a steel frame stuffed with plants. Well, my first order of business, we wanted to build a chicken bigger than the one in Marietta. The big chicken in Marietta is 56 feet tall. We were going to build 58 feet. They decided to go 62 feet to top a giant chicken in Dubai. And get this, the whole thing is going to double as a bed and breakfast. So folks will be able to stay in the topi area for 125 bucks a night. There are a lot of unique B&B sites in the world, but this is going to be one of the most unique. <laughs> You see these metal chickens all over town about five, six feet tall, but when it comes to the big chicken, well, a lot of people squawked at the price tag of $150,000. But we are using this to draw people to Fitzgerald, and so far it's, it's, done, it's, it's done its job and it's not even built yet. That's because the town of 10,000 got a lot of publicity when the Wall Street Journal ran a front page article on the big broiler. We were getting calls from all over the world, really. Puckett says his poultry idea is more than just a gimmick. We researched Helen, Georgia, which had to reinvent themselves into to what it is today. We, we in, researched a town in Ohio that uh, started building big things like the world's largest rocking chair, the world's largest mailbox, the world's largest uh, pitchfork. So now the live chickens will have a new pecking order when the steel beam chicken comes home to roost. Suzanne Lawler. Can't make this stuff up. <laughs> 13 WMAZ News. No, you can't. The $150,000 came out of an old SPLOSS fund that the mayor says attorneys told him he could use for tourism. If you'd like to watch the chicken come to fruition, there is, of course, a chicken cam on YouTube. Just type in Fitzgerald chicken cam. There it is right on your screen. Oh, we'll have to watch okay. this progress. Yeah, quiet for now, but not for long.